Hey, I'm Reed. I'm the uh, CEO of Reliant Technology. Thanks for checking out this video. This is Michael Hill, uh, one of our lead storage architects. We're here today talking about what's the career path of a storage engineer. And Michael's here to share a little bit of his experience about uh, what it took to become a storage engineer, what that kind of process looked like, and how you might evolve into a storage engineer or architect as well. So how did you first uh, get into storage? What was your first step to kind of getting into storage and what were you doing? Well, really I kind of backdoored into it uh, as a Unix administrator. All right. Um, storage was very, very new and, you know, it really starting to be recognized as, as kind of its own product, its own silo, uh, where they knew they needed specific teams to take care of that. Okay. Um, once I got involved with it, I really found it interesting, and along with that would be the topologies with the storage area network and the fiber channel. At that time, that was that was extremely new. So that was that was one of the big, big interesting points for us. So it sounds like you make a shift. Did you make a shift from being a Unix administrator to a storage administrator at some point, and being that that total focus? That you know, I, I kind of had that duality role for a long time. Uh, you know, a lot of us that that do know systems and storage, um, it helps us from the end-to-end -end connectivity. Mm -hmm. And that's from, you know, from, from the host all the way down to the storage level. So if you're just a storage guy, sometimes you'll lose some of those you do. performance, I don't know, uh, metrics to say, where's my root cause you, problem? Is it the host or the you, array you, or somewhere between? You do, you, you really do, to, you know, with, and, and I'll, I'll use the word silos uh, for a lot of the, reasons that companies have around, um, oh, what's the word, it's, 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 you know, it's not really legal, but they don't want everybody to have all the keys to the kingdom. Compliance. So, like compliance, is exactly, yeah. exactly. So, you know, once that happens, the storage infrastructures and the storage area networkers, networks start growing so large, uh, your, your workload and busyness, you know, you, you just, it's you're fulfilled, right? So it sounds like, like you 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 you've experienced because I know your background. You've experienced this thing where you went from an administrator, store, uh, a server administrator, Unix administrator, right. to manage both, and then the both got so big on the storage side that's pretty much a, a primary what you did. That's it. That's yeah. exactly right. Gotcha. Yeah. So a lot of people are looking to get into storage, and storage is growing. It's, it's obviously very combined with uh, virtualization today, server virtualization. Mm -hmm. um, what would you say would be a piece of advice you'd have for somebody looking to get into it? I know I have mine. What's yours? Well, um, you know, if you're new to the field uh, of storage itself, I mean, you, you really have to do a lot of the, the, the work on your own. You have to kind of reach out into your peer network and, you know, leverage, you know, leverage some other experiences. Mm -hmm. um, you know, at the end of the day, you know, how are you going to get the hands-on to be proficient and learn and move forward? Um, that's that that comes with time and you know with getting the opportunities to do so. Yeah, I, I see a lot of uh, storage engineer resumes that come across my desk, and I see different levels of people. Mm -hmm. I see your very junior level admin that's just started to touch a storage array. I see people who are storage engineer. And I see people who are more advanced architects, mm -hmm. and I see people who are leading teams. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I've never been in your shoes, but I would think if you could find a company to work for that one will allow you to do some light administration on storage, mm -hmm. and, and have someone like yourself uh, in a senior position to kind of coach you, uh, that would help a lot. Um, if you if you're looking to get into storage, you also need to make sure these days that you start to understand server virtualization as well. Oh, certainly, certainly, because that's that's huge. Yeah, the, the, it, it really is. The topologies kind of change for us. Uh, when we start thinking about blades, UCSs, things like that, um, you know, we're no longer doing a one-to-one -one relationship between an HPA and a, and a you know, fabric login to a port. Uh, now we're talking about uh, multiple logins to a port, and we're, we're using you know, in-port virtualization. Mm -hmm. So you know, things continuously, continuously change. Don't give away all your tricks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hopefully this is a little bit of a tidbit of uh, what a career path looks like for a storage engineer, storage architect. And uh, if you got any questions about uh, storage in general, be happy to answer them, call us, uh, send us an email, 
reach out to us. And uh, Michael, thanks for sharing your experience today. Really appreciate it. Thank you.